So, this girl, V sends me a follow request on Instagram, right? Right? She was fun. Okay? Hold up. She got several thousand followers on IG, and I'm thinking, why you want to follow little old me? Soon as I hit accept, immediately she started accepting, started liking all my pics and shit. Uh, don't get me wrong, I wanted to DMV, but I ain't trying to get my license fixed, so <laughs> she ended up DMing me, normal conversation, your poems are dope, we should kick it, you can come over with me and my homegirl this weekend, cool. So Saturday rolls around and I meet V at her place with her homegirl. V says, I'm gonna be honest, your poem's erotic. Are you really about that life? Do you write them yourself? I'm like, hm, Sugarfoot, if you brave enough, you can find out for yourself. You're a pretty attractive woman. Why not ask one of your friends? She said, yeah, I have a few friends, but I'm not from here, so you don't know them. But every night, I play with my pussy while I listen to your poem. So immediately, I knew she wanted the ding -a -ling. I had to read her the disclaimer. Um, warning. This dick is wonderful. This is that once it get hard, all perks is a final meaning non-motherfucking refundable. I'm going to let you pick and choose. Listen, I already opened up this magnum, so what y'all trying to do? I ain't trying to waste it. So, <laughs> my nigga Carl, somebody going to let me taste it or get on top and ride it. V homegirl's like, wait, wait, wait. Can I just watch because my pussy has low mileage? Quit playing, kid. So what you saying is, one of y'all going to watch, one of y'all feeling me. Deal. V kissed the nigga so deep, we became one entity. So I'm pulling her pants off. She pulling my shirt up. I started kissing curves and licking in cursive. She started purring. I look back at V's homegirl. She's like, hold up, nigga. I'm just observing. <laughs> then I started licking it slow. I can tell that she was nervous. Then she started mm -hmm, like she was giving a serving. <laughs> Don't judge me. All right? All right. All right? Mm -hmm. Sermon. So I... Because she was nervous. So I spit on it and sucked the clit and the spit back in my mouth while I fucked her with my fingers, had her wrapped around my fingers. Then I spit on it and sucked the clit and the spit back in my mouth. Then I fucked her with my fingers, had her wrapped around my fingers. Then I spit on it and sucked the clit and the spit back in my mouth. Then I fucked her with my fingers, had her wrapped around my fingers. <laughs> I didn't just eat the pussy I was having a banquet I wasn't just fingering the pussy It was more like uh, sign language Hold up baby Re Hold up baby Relax let this tongue control you Because this ain't a beard This is cum disposal Then I started Drilling it, killing it. She said, I'm feeling it. Whoa. Then I slow stroke the tiller toes Curl in the cinnamon rolls Don't sleep on me Unless you stupid I wore that ass out. When she came, you would have thought she got electrocuted. She says, damn, nigga, you got stamina. You mind if my friend join us then? <laughs> okay, Sugarfoot, listen, I don't deliver the dick. I DiGiorno it, nigga. They put that thing on me. One rolled my dick, one rolled my face. They ran a train on me. These... <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> be started encouraging the nigga like eat it boo, eat it boo, eat it boo, eat it boo. Ooh, you nasty, eat it boo. But that's the benefits of threesomes, nigga. You can literally have some pussy and eat it too. Be, be got off my face on some let me watch you fuck my friend type shit. Be watched me pound a friend while a pussy she entertained her like Cedric. Then slowly I eased in and eased out and barely left the head in. Then I slowly eased in and eased out and barely left the head in. Then I eased in and eased out and barely left the head in. My dickhead ached, so I pound home girl with extra strength, but don't confuse me with Excedrin. A nigga four strokes from coming. I run it back. My dickhead ached, so I pound home girl with extra strength. Don't confuse me with Excedrin. A nigga four strokes from coming. She said, don't pull out. Nigga, you better bust inside like the police heard is cracking my house. That's why skinny niggas winning. <laughs> Y'all late. <laughs> That's why skinny niggas winning. 
She said she had a mango kind of pussy and fruit ain't real fruit if it ain't got no seeds up in it. So when we finish, I'm like, hey, when y'all see me in public, are we not supposed to speak then? She says, listen, dope. Have you lost your mind? That was my girlfriend the whole time. Matter of fact, what's your schedule looking like? Because we want to book you for next weekend. Thank you. <laughs>